Bullet holes and broken glass as a reminder of the violence. Community members in South Dallas are fed up. Days after two teens were shot, neighbors say it's been radio silence from the people that represent them. Gang members fired off dozens of rounds Sunday during a block party on Dunbar Street near Metropolitan. News 8's Damon Fernandez was in that neighborhood today. Damon? Well, Cynthia, earlier today, Mayor Mike Rawlings told me he wouldn't comment on Sunday night's shooting because he hadn't yet been briefed on the incident. But neighbors in that South Dallas community say it's been three days now and they have some serious safety concerns. In the Wheatley Place neighborhood, we spotted Dallas police officers busy on foot patrol Wednesday. Three days after suspects fired shots into a crowd of about 300 people gathered at nearby Wheatley Park. So people were just running everywhere. Yeah, everywhere they came in my driveway. The impact of that shooting is still fresh on the minds of longtime residents like Gloria Lee. I just started praying. Her house is one of several near the park left riddled with bullets. Did you hear it hit your house? I heard it hitting everything. Bing, bing, bump, the fist and everything. Neighbors in South Dallas say they're left with many questions about Sunday night's gathering at the park and the city's response to what police are calling a gang-related shooting. A 16-year-old girl was hit in the face with a bullet while trying to shield a 2-year-old child. A 17-year-old boy was shot in the leg. I didn't holler, I just fell on the floor. Lee and some of her neighbors say they'd expect the mayor and other city leaders to address the violence by now. I've never been shot on words, but they need to be more concerned. They need to come out here. It's just not this, the police supposed to be walking around. Mayor Rawlings wouldn't comment about the shooting, saying he hadn't yet been briefed on the incident. I said, Lord have mercy. That's what I said. Gloria Lee and her neighbors say that response isn't good enough. I said, no. Now, the shooting investigation is ongoing. Meantime, community members and some organizations have been meeting on their own to discuss ways to handle crime and gang violence. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.